Welcome to ADI Technical Training. Today we're going to be adding your analog NVR to the network. First things first, we need to go and get some software. Uh, so uh, you need to head over to Dahua's website, uh, click on the support tab and go to the download center. Down at the bottom you'll find some maintenance tools and that's what we need. And we're after the toolbox, so we need to start this download off um, and, uh, and click the download and it'll download a small zip file um, 35 meg, 38 meg or so um, and then we just need to open that and install it uh, once you've installed it um, you'll get this little program come up uh, and within it there's the config tool open up the config tool the config tool scans the network for the recorders it's found ours but we need to get a little bit more information at our network we need to open up the command line the command line is going to help me here. So there we go. There's the command, uh, and we type it in, and we need to type the words ipconfig. Ipconfig is going to tell us some network details. What we're interested in is our gateway address, um, and the reason for that is I want to just check out our DHCP server. So I'm going to put the gateway address in the address bar of a browser, and open it up, uh, and I just need to log on to my router, which is my internet router here, uh, and I need to just go to the advanced settings for a minute, all the routers are different, so this might not be the same for yours, uh, and I need to enter the admin password of course, uh, and once once we're in, we're going to go and have a look at the, uh, the DHCP server, because I want to assign a static IP address to this NVR, um, and I need to make sure it's not within the DHCP range. Right, so we've entered our password. Um, and we need to go and find the IP configuration. What you'll find on this router is got four ports on the back. It tells me what's connected to each port. Uh, and on the fourth port, I've got another switch, which has several other devices connected. But that's not what we're interested in. We need to go up to the IP configuration and look at our DHCP server address. And we can see there it's 64 up to 253. We could change it, but we're not gonna. At least we know it starts at number 64. Right, back to the config tool. We open up a web browser to the IP address of the XVR. In this case it's uh, 192.168.1.142. We need to log in with our credentials that we've set previously. Once we've logged in, um, we need to go and check out the network settings. Uh, the network settings are up here on the top left click on network and the TCP IP section and you'll find that the address has been assigned by the DHCP. It's going to modify it and if you click on that little uh, pen there you'll see it's been assigned by DHCP. We want to change it to a static address so we knew that we can use anything below 64 so I'm going to just pick a number, number 50. Uh, the gateway address is all the same uh, and we can test it at this point uh, and the uh, the DVR will go and check the network just to make sure there's no duplicates and that seems fine so now I just needed to save that configuration so you move down a little bit and you find the OK button uh, and there we have it we we have it saved and uh, this type of DVR now is going to open up the new IP address you'll see it changing on the top left hand left hand corner to 1.50 uh, 1.50 is the new address we've set and we're just going to log back in again because the, the DVR has now changed its IP address. Uh, we're then able to log back in on its new IP address. Um, and we can check some live pitches out if we want. So there we go. Just to prove that we've got it all up and running, I can just click each channel. Uh, we can see the cameras, just the analog cameras that have attached to the back of the DVR. We could go full screen just to check them all out and everything looks honky dory there. Right, let's just get exit back out of there. And what we're now going to do is we're going to configure the mobile phone. So there's a QR code here uh, which we can scan in with the application on your mobile phone. Uh, there's two ways to get it up there and just down on the network section. Down at the very bottom there's something called P2P, peer-to-peer, -peer, and again the uh, we only make sure it's enabled and we are online we're all connected to the internet and we can scan it with a mobile phone this is how we do it 
here's a mobile phone application you go down and add a device get the QR code up scan it there and up pops the serial number of the DVR uh, we just have to go and configure it by pressing XVR or DVR uh, and then we have to enter some credentials in here again we give the uh, the, the DVR a name uh, we'll call it XVR because that's the model number uh, we're just going to enter a password here and um, we're just going to press save and when we've pressed saved we should get a live connection across the internet uh, onto the uh, to the same cameras that we've just seen on the laptop and that's about it uh, there you've got some live cameras so you can double click and away you go thanks for listening